to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter with a speed Trying to stand on my knees, go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? If nobody told you as of yet today I love you if nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, you already know, I do have to give you that brief disclaimer. I only want you to take what resonates and I want you to leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying to force certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you're going to get it through somebody else. So be patient with your process. Also, y'all already know, my voice too raspy to be whispering. So this about the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit that volume, all right? Thank you, babies. Love you, too. So before we get started, I want to thank you so much in advance for all your love, likes, shares, subscribes, co gifts, kind words, not only to myself, but each other, too. I appreciate you, right? Because I don't always get to pause in the middle of what I'm saying to acknowledge it, so I appreciate you. Now, chosen ones, we're going to have to get started. I want you to take a close look at how you're viewing certain things currently. And I really want you to do that. Now, what do I mean? Because some of you have almost like this illusion that you're living in. I want you to think about virtual, a virtual game or a virtual goggles that you're wearing in a sense, right? See, when you got those glasses on, what you view when you feel like is your reality. So I want you to realize that there are certain people that was projecting energy on you. There are certain people that was instilling fear in you. There were certain people that doubted what you would be able to do. So therefore, they tried to give you certain blueprint for you to adhere to. And that's how you were viewing certain things. So this is people that, again, was encouraging you not to step out there in faith. People who were not encouraging you to do things authentically. These are people who try to give you certain sayings or try to give you certain information. They just try to instill certain rules and regulations for you. Now, chosen ones. It's important because what you're seeing is not always your reality. But because you've had these glasses on for so long, you forgot that at any point in time you could take them off. So that's your people telling you what type of career you should have, what type of family you should want to have, what type of position that you should be in. You sit there and are wearing their goggles, the goggles that they placed on you. That's projections, that's expectations, that's certain insecurities that they may have implemented, so on and so forth, right? You've been wearing these lenses for so long that you forgot that you have the ability to take them off and start living for you what feels right for you because there's certain things that's scaring you where you scared that you're going to fall the whole time you're not really at no risk at all but because of those visions and that illusion that people have been instilling that have they have been projecting upon you you took it as your truth when again you have the ability to take them off of you so i want you to look at certain things that you have right I want you to think about certain circumstances that you in, certain people that you encounter, so on and so forth, right? I want you to think, chosen ones, are you living your life for you or are you living your life to appease these individuals? Are you really doing the things that because you feel called to do or are they telling you that this is the only way that you can do it? So think about the position that you're currently working in. You could be in a nursing field because all of your other families were nurses, right? So all of a sudden you feel like, well, that's a sense of stability. They told you that there's always going to be a need for that. They told you that this is a position that, again, that they instilled because they did it before you. So you started to do it too. Now, you are a caring individual. So you felt like naturally being a caregiver, being a nurse naturally aligned with you. But what if you were supposed to take those same skills and be in a different position where you helping a different type of individuals? But you stayed in that job, working real hard, doing the things that other people did before you, which your mother worked all day long or all night long, working a few jobs, so on and so forth, to provide for you. So you feel like you have to do it too, when really God prevented, provided you with an opportunity to see different views. You have to take off those lenses at times. There's some of you that feel like your whole life is supposed to consist of you working all of the time. That's not true. 
Because again, the main things that get to carry over to this next lifetime is based upon you healing you, you finding you, you being you and aligning in the purpose that God is placing you in. So although that may have worked for them chosen ones, that may not have worked for you. So I want you to pay attention to what you're allowing other people to project on you. But with that being said, we're going to have to talk. This is your season. See, I want you to think about this now. Christmas is coming up and Christmas means a lot of things to different individuals based upon your point of view, so on and so forth. See, some individuals feel like Christmas symbolizes the day that Jesus was born, but then some people feel like, well, that's not accurate because they feel like springtime it was, or there are certain individuals who do not like to celebrate Christmas because there were certain slaughterings that happened behind it and certain meanings that they may feel like is demonic. But I want you to think about this. At any point in time, you could take something negative and turn it to a positive. That's why we chosen. We transmute energy. They send negativity towards us and we show them how, again, we able to transmute those problems that they sent towards us and we turn them into solutions. So all of a sudden, that turned into confidence. That turned into us healing certain things inside of us, so on and so forth, right? So I want you to view this, chosen ones. Christmas, make it what you make it. But make sure that God's involved in it, right? And I want you to make sure that you show in gratitude, that you embrace a certain love and light and towards other individuals, that you smiling, that you optimistic. But this is something that should carry over to the next season as well, right? We not just going to stop it in Christmas. Christmas, in a sense, is all year long, right? See, I want you to think about what Christmas could symbolize to you. Now, hear me out. See, Santa, right? There's certain people that don't like their children to have that idea that Santa is real. Now, I want you to check something, chosen ones. See, there's certain people say that they not gonna give credit to this masculine and said that he provided certain presents. Said that, nah, they put that work in so they not about to have somebody else take credit for it. I want you to check your ego. I want you to check your ego because you still unhealed from certain things that you previously went through when people wasn't acknowledging the good that you was given to these individuals. So now you feel like your children have to know what you do too. But I want you to think about this from a different view. What if you were telling them that Santa was real just to keep them in that innocent season? Because you already know how hard it is to be an adult. That people try to, again, take away your happiness and they try to dim your spark. So why not allow them to believe in something? Why not have them, again, be happy about something? Because when they get older and they realize the strength, the limps that you went to allow them to have this little innocent moment where you sat there and acted like there was a real Santa. You had certain reindeers with certain cookies and all of these things. And when they grow up, they gonna realize that you was the person that was putting that work in. So now they looking at you even greater because not only did you provide those things for them, so they know that you was working so hard to provide it, but you also sat back. You wasn't so quick to get that acknowledgement. Not only that, you went to a certain extent to make sure that they kept their innocence. You understand me? So I want you to think about that differently, chosen ones. It's okay to allow them to have their innocence. They going to know in the end that in due time that everything came from you. But why rush them into being grown like these other individuals try to persuade their youth to do? That's not you. Embrace their they imagination. Because you're going to realize that imagination is what it's going to take in order for you to make it. In order to manifest, you got to see yourself in that position. So you got to imagine it, right? Hear me out. See, when we was little, we imagined that, oh, well, cops and robbers. So that police person was really taking taking their position seriously. They went and chased after the bad guys. The bad guys also imagined themselves really being in that position. So they was running. They was getting, you understand, so on and so forth. They was doing certain things. They was playing a role. Imagine when we used to play the floor is lava. We really believed that that shit was hot. So we was jumping to certain limps that we wouldn't have made it to. But we imagined that this is the risk that we was going to take. So we actually was able to see it through. Think about that. It takes, when you about to have a, when you about to go to sleep, you imagine yourself in order to start off a dream. 
When you want to have a specific dream, what you start to do? Imagine that that person that you want to be with is next to you. You imagine that you doing this, that you imagine that. Imagination is the main thing that you need in order to manifest. You got to see yourself in that position. You understand me? You got to see it through. So I want you to know that again, you catering to your children's imagination is actually putting them ahead of a lot of individuals. They're able to imagine it, put themselves in that position. So I want you to be paying attention of what you encouraging chosen ones. You hear me? Now, somebody need to hear this too. I want you to make sure that you're not making your children feel like the world's against them. When there's individuals that are for them as well. Now, what do I mean? See, there's some of you that be cracking jokes on your kids, talking about you trying to get them prepared for people when they got jokes on them. Why prepare them to get bullied? Why not prepare them to meet friends and have their confidence? Why don't you do the opposite? See, you talking negative into them because you say the world's not going to be kind towards them. But if you sit there and compliment them and compliment everything about them, that's instilling that confidence. So therefore, if somebody was to try to make a joke on them, they going to laugh it off like shorty because they don't even believe that shit. So why not encourage your children to think positive instead? Why not get their confidence so up that if somebody was trying to joke them, they laugh about it. They wouldn't take it personal because they know that's not them. Why prepare them for negative? There's certain people that feel like you got to beat your children in order for them to be attentive. You got your ass beat too. Now, there's some, say you and your siblings got your ass as well. And they booked right now. They were negative. They went to the opposite end. So what's an excuse? The main issue was you didn't talk to them so that they can comprehend. Some people are so quick to pop their kids. I don't believe in that shit. We're going to talk about it. Listen. This is why you're going to get in trouble. This is why you can't have that. You moving forward. Okay, well, let me know what your perspective is. Allow them to feel like they can talk. Some of you talking about don't let nobody bully you. Don't no, let nobody disrespect you. Don't let nobody be rude to you, so on and so forth, correct? Nah, baby girl. <laughs> no, beautiful, I'm not. But chosen ones, there's some of you that is telling them, don't ever, don't ever lie. Don't let nobody bully you. Don't let nobody be mean to you. Don't never let nobody tell you what you got to do so on and so forth, correct? But when it came to your parents, they was the main person who was doing that. Telling you what you couldn't do. Trying to encourage you not to be you. Trying to mold you into a certain boundary. No. No. We not doing that. Because think of how you had to go back and heal everything that you went through based upon the person who raised you. We going to put our children in a situation, in a position that is going to be beneficial to them. There's some of you that's encouraging. You so quick to talk about, again, you almost give your children that victim mentality in a sense. Now, we going to talk, right? I'm going I'm to talk to my people, right? Chosen ones. There's some people that see certain injustices that happen, right? And let, let me say to Melanin, we gonna talk to each other real quick. Now, for so long, people try to put us in a victim mentality in a sense, make it seem like other races were superior, make them feel like, again, certain things instill certain fear in you, right? So all you seen on the news or around you or people talked about was injustices that happened with people like you, right? Okay, cool. See, chosen ones. What if that was strategically being done to make that make you feel like you limited? See, there's certain people that want you to match certain energy, right? So when they was out here beating, when they was out here killing, they wanted you to become murderers too. They start having you feel negative. You started to go and attack certain individuals too. You end up being bullied and turned into the bully, but we gonna have to talk, right? See, chosen ones, we know that there's crooked cops, correct? We know that there's certain judges, so on and so forth, that intentionally try to keep certain people suppressed, correct? See, chosen ones, instead of sitting there talking about how it's F the police, why not encourage your children to become them instead? Huh? Why not sit there and encourage your children to become those police so that you can get and put an end into the crookedness? See, there's some people talking about all oh, the judges and the system is just against you. Well, not, why not encourage your child to sit there and become a judge so that they implement and better in the system? See, why would you match that negative? They want you to battle. They want you to do certain negative shit. Why not sit there and encourage people? If you want to get rid of crooked police, put some positive ones in there. 
And you can't say that there's not because they are the main ones that got attacked by certain groups when they spoke up and told their truth. When they wasn't letting them get away with certain dirt that they was doing. So do not sit there and think that we inferior or feel like we negative we less because truthfully there's certain people that went through the same thing as as i told you this ain't no competition to see who went through and had it bad we all need to come together and get rid of the negative shit because there's caucasian people that went against the melanin that went against as far as certain asians certain spanish but there's also caucasians that went against certain caucasians too just like you can say you're not going to associate the hood hood with just a certain color of certain groups there's hood asians spanish caucasians melanated so on and so forth everybody gets attacked but they want certain people of certain dynamics to feel like they get attacked more so that you feel like you suppressed them. So you start believing that. So you start again feeling like you can't achieve no shit. Nah. They may not give you the big popularity and recognition, but there's certain people that's in high positions too. There's certain billionaires that ain't getting broadcast across the TV to present to you. There's certain lawyers that, again, are real, real good. You understand? But they ain't showing it. So stop feeling that divide. There's certain people, I remember when there's certain riots that was going out, they try to have the LGBT, you cute, you know, I might, I'm not even trying to be fine, I might have fucked up the letters, but you know what I'm talking about. They try to make it so, okay, there was the melanated one. So a masculine, a melanated masculine that was gay that was like, nah, it's about this. And I had to tell them like, listen, you got, you have to realize that some people don't even agree with you being the color that you are. So for you to, it's not about that. You understand? They try to make everybody go against each other. It's not. Like what you like, that's what you do. Do what you do. But if other people don't want to do it, that's cool too. People have a preference. You can't force people on certain shit. But again, you have to stop trying to divide people in certain groups. You hear me? You got to think positive. Do what you do, cool. You like what you like, cool. You look how you look, cool. But you could talk to a Caucasian masculine right now and he could tell you about ain't shit family members that he was around. You could talk to a melanated masculine right now and he gonna relate to that Caucasian masculine like, yeah, so-and-so ain't shit. They got drug addicts all through their family and shit. They got petty ass thieves and all of these things. So stop trying to divide, okay? Stop, chill out, you hear me? You got to be, we, we, now we checking energy. What you carrying? What, what you, what type of person are you? Because we come again, like so-and-so said yesterday, Joseph's jacket, his many colors. You got to think again, every race is almost like cell phones in a sense. Each of them are equipped with different qualities, but all of them could be used positively. See, as far as melanated individuals, spiritually, we have certain gifts that other races don't have. But there's certain Caucasians that got certain, again, benefits that other individuals don't have. But there's still a chosen this and a chosen. We all are the same dynamic. You got to see through it. It's the soul. Look outside of the shell. You understand? Think about that cell phone in a sense. This one is so good as far as online. This one is good as far as the camera. This is far based upon the person and what they need and what they want to see. So when it's, there's great qualities, but the casing is different. You hear me? Just like as far as Nike, how people say the same shoes that you get from one of those knockoff sites, they can come from the same site that those Nike shoes do. But because it has a different name on it, some people will feel like this is better than that when it's really the same thing that the other person got. You got to chill out. They so quick for you to try to be in competition and prove yourself. Nah. And chosen ones, we don't do that. You hear me? We don't do that. As chosen ones, we sit there and understand that we got, we top tier. But we ain't gonna downplay your position because everybody has a position to play, but we not in competition with nobody because nobody got the same fate. You hear me? So stop comparing yourself. You out here comparing yourself to certain people that's competing with you and they competing with you by trying to imitate you. So you really still going against yourself. 
When they sit there and say, you your only competition, that's true. Because think about how many people try to do what you do. Think about how many people try to imitate you. I'm talking about family members, siblings, cousins, friends, lovers, strangers, karmics, so on and so forth. Think of how many people try to repeat what you do. As soon as you say that you want to do something, they try to rush to that before you. But there's longevity with you because this is really for you. And this is something that they just doing. You understand? They didn't try to be million people. You just the most popping. But again, you're not going against them because if you wasn't showing them how to do or how to move, then they wouldn't be able to do anything. See, you allow them to show people that they a fool. Because when they try to get in certain superior positions and act like they better than you, okay, well, now that I'm silent, we're going to see what you're talking about and you're not going to say nothing to these individuals. They ain't gonna have no blueprint to go for. So chosen ones, you keep doing you. You got longevity. Nobody can do that recipe like you. It's time is the difference. See, you can get somebody all of the ingredients, but it's that timing that's the difference. See, at the end, they talking about they shit don't taste like yours and you like, yeah, I know. They like, did you sabotage? Did you leave something out? Nah, it was about the timing in order to achieve a certain goal. Now, what do I mean? See, at this point in time, you may have waited to put butter on that shit afterwards. See, I did that initially when I was mixing certain things up. It was the difference in it. See, it was the timing. We used the same ingredients. We did the same thing. But you're not a chef for real. And you're not even putting no love into what you're cooking. So, again, people can taste the difference. You hear me? See, chosen ones, some people talk that talk, but they don't got the power behind them. Let them do what they do. Because they're going to lead a bunch of individuals and people going to follow them. And then they're going to question where those people leading them to. So, oh, nah, we don't worry about this. But this is your season. Now, what do I mean? Let me get back into the talk about the holidays, right? Christmas that's coming up. See, chosen ones, I want you to realize, Santa, in a sense, we're going to say that that's a representation of God. See, how they say he can see if who's naughty or nice. Huh? So, there's certain people that was out here acting an ass. They was out here being chaotic. They wasn't listening in a sense. See, they didn't feel that they moves was getting watched and then they was. They felt like they wasn't getting watched and they were. So, again, I want you to think God is like Santa. Good behavior. You got certain gifts that's going to come in. But, yeah, you're going to have to wait until one season. So, many months is going to pass before you get that, right? So you had to be good all year. See, that's your light time. All your light time, you had to be good. See, there was times that you acted up, but you straight and got it together, correct? See, you ain't sit there, you wasn't an evil person. You may have reacted based upon what people was doing to you. You may have said certain things based upon what you was feeling, based upon projections that was placed on you. Or you, again, may have just went through a little moment where you had to get yourself regrouped. But again, say a few years is nothing to... That lifetime, in a sense, that God's about to pay you for, right? See, chosen ones, I want you to realize again, God symbolizes Santa. So there's certain gifts that's going to come in, but it's all based upon your behavior and how you've been acting. See, you got to wait all year long. So that's your whole life. You've been having to wait for this payoff that you're about to receive. See, I told you 2024 is your season. But this season is going to stay. It's almost like a permanent weather change. They ain't never going back to those coldest or them scraping days. You got money off of money and wealth within you. Anything that you speak, you starting to realize that you start to see come through for you. All your dreams come true. So therefore, chosen ones, this lifetime and next lifetime and next lifetime, these good things is going to carry over for you. But hear me out. See, chosen ones, these individuals are starting to realize that they should have took a different route. Now, what do I mean? See, you may have acted up early on in your life, but you got it together right in the end as it got closer to the year. So you waited half your lifetime to get a regroup, half of that relationship to walk away from that individual, half those years where you stayed in that relationship that was keeping you fearful, that was restricting you, half of the time that you stayed in that shadow based upon your parents' expectations of you, half of the time that you stayed in that position that really wasn't promoting you, that was really getting you profit, but your peace had now stopped, so you was compromised certain things that should have been really equal right chosen ones I want you to realize that there's certain individuals that uh, they were they could have been bad early on and then became good and got it together towards the end but instead they wanted to turn from good people to straight up 
demonic ass individuals, some demons, right? So now it's getting closer to that payoff and they've been acting an ass for half of their seasons, half of their life. Now, when they go, when they expecting these gifts to come in, they manifest this to arrive, they not going to arrive. They gonna get cold instead. See, you been raising all hell all year long, all your lifetime, where you about to have some cold that's gonna have you hold on to that heat that you gonna be feeling in. See, chosen ones, they gonna watch you get certain rewards based upon the work that you put in. See, again, you could have been somebody that was a hot head, but you got that shit together. You could have been somebody that was insecure, but you got your confidence. You got it together. See, you could have been somebody that was pessimistic before, but you got it together. So therefore, again, in the end, you was, good so now you got all these presents that's arriving now i want you to watch this because there's certain people that's going to watch you get certain things that you are deserving of they're going to be asking see they're going to wait they're going to see see they used to getting their shit first in a sense oh nah they about to see this your season now they call me they about to reap see now they sitting there watching everybody else open their presents and they mad so that love that you manifested in based upon the fact all that love that you was given see all of the dreams that you had is coming true because you sat there and became that person that you wanted to be in order to play that position that you was getting called to that you actually went through training you ain't lying on that application see your resume said certain things that you actually had the ability to do these people got certain positions but it Again, they was lying and so they had to sit there and improve it see chosen ones you were so happy and focused on steady improving so that's why certain things is getting provided but they watching they gonna be mad chosen ones they gonna be so so salty and I want you to watch what you got too and be cautious of who you have around you because there's certain people that's gonna learn that okay well i see so and so's getting rewarded they gonna know that they could have put got it too had they did the right thing but they chose not to but they sat there and now they seeing things differently see the fact that they had to sit out and got nothing their hands was empty in a sense now they watch everybody else how they come up now they want they come up season two so now they gonna do what they supposed to do in order to in the end get certain gifts like you they know that there's a time period that they gonna have to wait they know that there's a time period that they gonna have to prove themselves right Okay, well, we're going to see if you really change your ways. We know that, again, if Christmas is here, you got 365 days before the next one. So that could be uh, this lifetime, next lifetime, so on and so forth, but you can earn it back. But we're going to see how you start now, and we're going to see if you carry it over to the end. But show someone there's other individuals that instead of taking that opportunity to learn, they sat there and again turn evil now they try to get a hold of your shit and break it but they already getting watched see god knew that they was going to be upset when they seen you get what you about to get and they gonna know that those people is not changing that again they not somebody that's going to learn from certain experiences they gonna sit there and do the same thing again so chosen ones i want you to watch who you trying to share certain things with you wondering why that gift wasn't under the tree it's because of who you had around you god didn't want them to see it see if those individuals would have seen what you got they would have started targeting you right away right away would have tried to break your shit if you were still close to them whether or not that was sexually whether or not that was mentally whether or not that was emotionally whether or not that was financially they wanted you to pay so that's almost like somebody seeing that you happy in a relationship they see that you got an advancement on your job position now they want to try to take you for child support because they want to take everything from you because they didn't have the ability to get it see it's not that you was a bad parent it's just the fact that it's apparent that that person is miserable you still do for your child and when they took you and put you on child support you still was happy because you was that's something that you would have already did already. See, there's certain people that's going to try to break down your blessings, try to get you to leave them. They're going to try to talk negative about it. So that partner that's coming in, they're going to try to persuade you not to be with them. They're going to try to find certain flaws all about them. But if they truly could choose a good partner for them, then how come they keep choosing these toxic ass feminines or masculines then? How come if they know so much, how come they don't apply that stuff? See, knowledge without applying it, that ain't shit. That just means that you can recite certain things. You got a good memory, but again, you not out here actually in action. So, chosen ones, take those views off of you, those projections, the negativity. We not acknowledging it. 
And chosen ones, right now, you got a few weeks to buy yourself a gift. You out here getting so happy to see everybody else open up their shit, but chosen ones, you deserve to get that energy reciprocated too. So if you don't got a lover right now, okay, cool. You got children, give your children some bread in order to buy certain things for you. Or you sit there and write a gift underneath the tree for you. I'm not hearing that that you watching everybody else open some shit and you ain't buy yourself a gift. You got time now. So what you want? Even if it's a few shirt shit, you know how back in the day, if your money wasn't straight, you could have went to the dollar store or family dollar and used that toy and broke it down into multiple parts. So you buy yourself the outfit that came together. You would have put that shirt in one bag, that pants in another, the socks over there, the drawers up. I'm not playing with you. You gonna show people how to carry you by gifting you too. Have you sent yourself flowers? See, I I, I'm gonna speak for myself. I love flowers, but shorty. I've been giving myself flowers for several years. I ain't waiting for somebody to give flowers to me. You hear me? And that goes physically, emotionally, mentally, energetically too. You better sit there and be speaking highly of you, how you complimenting yourself, huh? Cause you are who you attract. So what type of partner you trying to have? Somebody who you gotta beg them to express some shit. If you run into those people, it's cause you not feeling comfortable and vulnerable to express your feelings then. This your soft girl ever. This your soft boy ever. That tough shit, that keeps you from your advancing. That tough shit, that keeps you from abundance. That tough shit keeps you from being in tune to your intuition too. So if you're not really feeling nothing, then you're not going to feel what's truly for you. That's why you keep going through what you're going through now. Nah, this our soft ever. You understand me? See, we so used to being on guard, but I told you guys knocking all of them out. This the end of the evil ever, I promise you. So those people from back in the day that was messing with you, those people that are currently gang stalking you, those people that's currently manifesting certain negativity towards you, they gonna have to go through what they sending towards you. You got a shield of protection. All you gotta do is speak it and you seek it. So as soon as you feel somebody trying to project certain things, you, I am divinely protected. Now you protected from all of it. Some of y'all still in illusions thinking that you still getting attacked from that black magic. But again, that shit can't hit you if you're not in the dark with these individuals. So if they was doing sex spells on you, shorty, that sex spells can't hurt you. If your ass ain't having sex, go be celibate then. Disconnect from those demons that they was carrying. You understand? Just like you ain't just going to cure yourself if you caught something like an STD. You want to catch yourself. You're going to sit there and... Cure yourself if you got them STD sexually transmitted demons. You got to clear that shit out, not pass it around. Celibate. Celibate. It's that simple. If somebody out here doing black magic on you and God's telling you to stop eating after certain individuals, then stop doing this shit. Cook for yourself or get certain things that you're going to know if somebody messed with it then. Have your food locked in your room if that's what you need to do, but stop eating certain things after everybody because they don't mean good intentions by you. If God is telling you that this person ain't for you, get your ass from around them. You hear, I'm not playing with you. It's that simple. They say it's not that. It's that simple. You talking about you so sick of, you got that ugly cry face. You so sick of people cheating on you. Then why the fuck you still with that cheating ass individual? Huh? You sitting there, that's like you hanging with Jason, but keep getting stabbed in your back and you keep crying about that shit. I'm not trying to hear that. The motherfucker can't even run fast. The motherfucker is slow. He's slow, slew footed, and all of that shit. Knees was knocking. He got damn asthma. Cardio ain't shit. And you sitting there running around this motherfucker talking about you can't wait to get away from him. Shut your down. Shut that. How shorty say off of Martin? Sit your dumb ass down. I'm not. You uh crying. You running from damn Chucky instead of punting the motherfucker. What are you? What? I told you, I heard what they say, the glove don't need, don't fit, you must equip, but I'm not out here cutting up tomatoes and shit with OJ. I'm not, out, that motherfucker won't be in the kitchen with me. You heard me. I don't, I don't give a damn what they say. He won't be in there with me. That glove may not seem like it fit, but motherfucker, I didn't watch enough CSI to see how shit worked. It's, cra it's crazy how you talking about Some of y'all done mess around with little damn OJs Energetically Just stabbing up all your damn energy Just Talking about I, I didn't cheat but if I was to cheat It wouldn't be with somebody like this Bitch you just talking on yourself You should you out 
If I was to cheat, I wouldn't be, oh, shut up. Can't get right. Shut up. Talking about if you could. Shut your dumb ass up. You stuttering. I already know. How do you say, I, I can tell when you lying, because when you replying, stutter. Shut your dumb ass up. You've been stuttering way before retrograde hit. I don't want to hear it. You looking just like Melvin's ass. Just looking just like your damn father. Little lying ass. I'm not playing with you. I'm not out there. No. I'm not. The fuck you mean? No. Mm-mm. I know. Okay. Well, Oprah talking about she got a car for me. I know damn well I ain't going down in that damn underground tunnel to go with her ass. I heard you was trafficking, Oprah. I don't... I'm not taking that chance. Talking about you got a car. Bring that motherfucker up here, then. I'm not going down there. You got a car, boy, bitch. You got to go get it and pull it the fuck up here. I'm not playing with you. Nope. Bring it up here, Oprah. I'm not. Mm -mm. I know I won't be drinking that damn punch from Diddy. I don't give a damn how sweet you say that shit is. You talking about, oh, it just loosens you up. I bet it the fuck does. I bet it does. I'll be thirsty till mother till I get home. Hmm? How your parents used to say you thirsty, drink your spit? I'll drink a damn gallon before I drink any of that shit. Talking about, oh, we seen the stars. Motherfucker, they wasn't talking about celebrities. They were seeing stars, all right. Woked up in a fetal damn position near the door. I'm just saying. Mm-mm. I don't care how much I like riding at night in the dark and looking at the stars. Motherfucker, I'm not riding with Suge, I can tell you that. He talking about no. I damn sure ain't. You keep, look like you keep wanting to get stopped at these damn red lights, Suge. I don't know. I'm, hmm. I know that. I damn sure, mm? No. I don't care how much you offer it, how much you say Jay-Z no shit, I won't be sitting at the damn table at that meeting with him. Some Rockefeller, we know what Rockefeller mean, motherfucker. You, we like triangles, we talk about the pyramid, but you want some other shit, no. I bet I'll rock your ass to sleep, you keep, mm-mm. Keep throwing that shit up near me, you, uh-uh. Uh-huh. I don't care how hype Beyonce had me with the ring the alarm. I'm I'm not playing with you. I will not know. She talking about what you about to do next. Bitch, I'm not telling you. Last time somebody told you what they about to do, Aaliyah, she went missing. Hmm. I'm not no, I'm not telling you what I'm about to do. I I'm gonna surprise you. Surprise, motherfucker, I'm not telling you nothing you better i'm not about to drake talking about the song i'm not i bet you i'm gonna have drake listening to my song mm -mm. we seen what you did with drum too you tried to switch up the beat a little bit and make it yours and motherfuckers really believed them talk about what well, the beat does say ding right there when it no, the, the whole damn song how soldier boy they copy the whole style like mm -mm. uh-uh I don't care how much you said Doja. I'm not going to fuck to a Doja Cat damn concert. She growling and shit. No. You talking about the demons in the videos represent something. Well, it represent a damn demon. She was drinking blood, motherfucker. I'm not. No. Mm-mm. I'm not doing it. I won't. I'm not going out there to no damn Uzi Vert. No. I'm not. I don't care how much I would have had my hips probably you know what i'm saying my shit might have been like bye bye had i did the dance moves i'm not doing it mm -mm. so well, i just want to rock i bet you do and i will rock your ass on out of this damn room get behind me satan i'm gonna rock your ass with a bible scripture don't let me flick through don't shoot huh oh don't worry listen you stay back you ain't got to worry about the spit coming out of my mouth to hit your ass. This damn holy water going to hit your ass before that. Just start shaking at the screen. Some shit, I just be shaking at the screen. God, mm, mm, mm. Mm, They be like, is it raining? Mm -hmm. I'm making it rain with that damn, with that holy water. Yes, I am. 
You going your ass gonna have that slick back by the time you looking like you didn't let your soul glow. By the time that damn that oil done ran down yours. Yeah. No. It's uh you got that slick back now. Yep. That holy slip back. I'm not playing with you. Now they wig is slipping the damn shit. So I don't no. No, I done loose it up all that got to be glue. Just got to be shaking. Uh not playing with you. Mm-mm. You no, know, pop your ass like with the Bible, like how homie don't play that, homie the clown, just knock they ass. No, mm mm. Damn, you dumb. They talk about he say all oh, hell Satan. You talk about well Satan just represent motherfucker. He said what he said. You talking about the short? You gotta think about Beyonce. This gonna rough your stuff. Do you think I care? Hear me out. Again, Beyonce was talking about wiping her blood with bible verses then all of a sudden she came out and started converting and bringing up a certain religion chosen ones some people that's they shit not ours just because they look like because they always want because they try to keep melanated people from knowing who they are truly or try to mix up certain shit chosen ones you automatically assume because people can say some powerful things you believe them they had you praying to certain deities and entities Y'all talking about, oh, well, that's our ancestors. That's not our ancestors, nothing. That's not my people. My people were magical. We didn't do magic. When we was healers and doing certain herbs and shit, we were speaking life into it, and it was manifesting into that medicine. That was the magic. We wasn't out here, mama say, mama sa, mama kusa, mama say, mama. We wasn't doing that. They try to make you feel like all your people, no. My people was not chanting. They wasn't doing that. And I want you to pay attention. Because all those people who talked about how they promote hoodoo and voodoo and all of that, you see they losing their mind now. They crazy. See, there's certain, cho I told y'all even pertaining to Jaguar. Right, because I be fucking her name up. There was a point in time where she lose her mind a little bit because of the masculine that she was connected to, that masculine that was in some type of group type of cult type shit that was close enough to do magic on her. She was drinking after him, smoking after him. We don't match negative with negative. You got to stay vibrating high so that shit can't touch you. You hear me? So you stay out the dark, but mm -mm. I don't, you got to pay attention. They'll try to, again, they try to keep certain truths for you for so see what they try to volunteer certain information. I told y'all when I felt like so and so heard it was the AI people was laughing. Now y'all starting to see that certain views and show, shows that you see that they showing and acting like it was history and it was not. See, what if you found out that when actors became actors on that contract? See, think about when you do AI, it says that you give that company the right to have your likeliness. So that means that if they wanted to create a cartoon using that image, they can do it because you gave that permission to them. So what if certain actors sign certain contracts that they get to be certain people too? That they get to dress themselves up. So this actor, because you know the old head that used to play on the Holly, that, that Tyler Perry movie, she looked like a lot like Diane Warwick, but also looks like a lot like Harriet Tubman too. So what have you found out certain actors was really, again, allowing AI type of traits? Because you think that this technology is new? Have you looked back at the old school when they was doing more things than what we currently doing, but it's always a constant reset? When people get so far ahead or they start to do some dumb shit, they got to reset that? That's why some of you get so upset when you see people have certain things that they just created that was new. And for some part of you, you feel like you already did it. That's something that you already had intentions to do. What if that really was yours, but because they died it off and killed it off or because you don't see it on Google, you don't feel like it's real. So now somebody else could quote unquote, have that creation or have that, that they just made now, that invention. And now they getting credit for it. Not everything that you see that you needed to believe because what you used to type in on Google in the past, you can't even access that shit no more. Money is what they pay to have things look a certain type of way. So if, when I told y'all the internet's about to go out, and I promise you, and you're going to have to fend for yourself. So what you know, you're going to have to know because you know it. 
So be cautious about who you have around as far as this reset that's going to happen. Do you got people around you that can plant some food? Are you cool with certain construction workers that can build certain things for you? See, I told you every time I cross paths with an individual, I always think about a position that I can put them in as soon as I got put on that position that I'm supposed to be in. I'm like, yo, as soon as that opportunity hit, I got a lot of people that I've been paying attention to sitting back watching them. Like, yo, I respect so-and-so's energy. They genuine. So-and-so's a great artist. So-and-so's a great musician. So-and-so's a great painter. So-and-so's a great singer. So-and-so's a great designer. I'll be watching. I'm trying to tell you, people can tell you, at my shows, I always bring people on based upon, again, I didn't see you start from the bottom. We going all on to the top then. So you will never know who's watching you, but I'm telling you, as soon as that opportunity hit, God told me, it's a wrap. I'm taking all the chosen crew with me. I promise you that. But you getting checked at the door, we going to see, uh, you right or not. But we coming together. I'm trying to tell you, they try to divide us. Nah, we, we powerful chosen ones. So this season, you better be a gift to you and a gift for other individuals too. You better get around individuals that you ain't gotta train them in order to make certain moves. Cause if you gotta be there every second to train them and tell them to do the right thing and why they should do it, then you slowing down the process. Think when a job hires you, they do a certain training stage and then they want you to take over the things that they need you to do. If you gotta sit there and hand somebody a monitor them how to be a good lover, how to be a good friend, how to be a good family member, then you need to get your ass from around them and have somebody else step up and play that position then somebody who already is trained, that you ain't gotta stand over their shoulder with it. You heard me? It ain't no, no more fixer uppers. You understand me? You going to be with people who's moving ready. You ready for that partnership? You ready to take this to the next level? You ready to take what we doing already? You didn't already built this up for you. I didn't already built this up for me. So baby, when we come together, do you realize the sights that we going to see? If I was able to achieve this by myself, nobody funding me but God himself. And you doing it too? Man, we ain't even got to be the most. We ain't even doing it for fame. We doing it to put it on for the chosen individuals. It's that gift that keeps on going. You hear me? That pay it forward. I'm trying to tell you, this your season, chosen ones. We already, it's a wrap. Like minds, we intertwined. We got it. Think about our ancestors connected. When I say ancestors, I ain't just talking about no... People automatically think hocus pocus shit. Now I'm talking about that grandmother that could have passed, that great great grandfather that you ain't never met yet, so on and so forth. They ancestors too, the people who came before you to again set up this for you. And they are giving you their gifts as well. Everything that they didn't listen to when they was on this realm, they sat there and had to choose an individual to give it to when you got everything coming to you. You got grandparents that, again, got finances that they have pouring to you. They ain't had to put you on a will. It's in their will with God that they gonna sit there and have them provided. Everything that they were supposed to get, how they did what they were supposed to do, that is now coming to you. You hear me? So think about where you about to move to. Think about you do what you can right now. God's going to see what you did with what he provided you. And was like, matter of fact, I trust her with a double, with a triple, with a, I, 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 I trust them with all of that. They can flip it. I done sat there and gave them 500. They didn't turn it into 5 million. I done sat there and gave them enough to buy that spaghetti sauce, the noodles and some meat. And they was able to sit there and whip that up for a meal that could feed them and their kids the whole week. I sat there and gave them $10 and they put that 10 to that tank. I'm trying to tell you. You was out here riding to your job on fumes and faith. God was like, man, this next season, give them that. Your ancestors, give so-and-so that. So-and-so sat there and pursued their dreams and still was able to sit there and come up with a mean. Give them that. I'm trying to tell you, you got so much inheritance coming and them demons is mad. But they about to be permanently wiped out. I'm trying to tell you. God told them that they had a limited amount of time. And their time is up. 2023, them demonic individuals, I'm telling you, they wiping themselves out. You stay from around that. Don't get that muck on you. At first, they sat there and thought they tried to stun on you. Now they dirty. Now they dingy. Now they dirty. Now you about to have your best dressed on. And they going to try to touch you. And it's like, nah, you untouchable. How? What, what Nikki say? Keep a wet wipe. 
in case of what? And why I ain't talking about a bum just because you ain't got no place to stay? I'm talking about that bum-ass mentality. You pessimistic. You demonic. You a manipulator. Well, you a bum. A bum. That we've been selecting from the bottom of the bin. You like, mm, you've been trying to dress the best bums up in a sense. Nope. Nope. You've been out here looking in the dollar. You so used to having to shop for the dollar candy. That guy's like, hey, yo, you know you got some more over here you can choose from. You like, what? Nah, that's a little high. Guy was like, what? You don't even know what's in my wallet. What? Money is not an option. What you want? Oh, you want love? Oh, you want them to be like this? Oh, you want abundance? Take your pick. Oh, you want, you got a sweet tooth, but you want some chocolate too? What you want? All right, you can have both of them. Nah, nah, nah. Stop looking over that cheap ass section. What you want? You can have it. How you can have whatever you like. What you want? Stop looking over there. I said I got you. You like, are you sure? You keep trying to get the cheap shit because you trying to be considerate of their pockets. Say like, baby, do you know who you dealing with? This divine, this God. God's like, do you know I got you, baby? You know, what? Yours energy is y'all's wealth. That's your, that's your chip. Your energy is the chip that they talking about. That chip that they try to put on your shoulder. Your energy is your chip. So when you go there, you ain't even got to swipe shit. Some y'all going to realize the respect that you have, the acknowledgement based upon the work that you put in. Your money's going to be no good there. They're going to pay for that shit. People are going to start presenting nice things for you because you earned it. There's certain people that you encourage them to do what they needed to do. So as soon as they get put on, they're going to put you on too. You hear me? This your season, baby. So congratulations. But listen, I got to get a off here because I do have a few things to do. Remember, I'm going to always upload this live on my YouTube. So I ask you to do go to the channel, social love, subscribe, baby. Because we try to make sure that the chosen ones is on all platforms, all right? So, again, I appreciate you so much. I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm so thankful of you. But this our season. I ain't trying to hear that shit that you was talking. You ain't those demons. This our come up. You heard me? So you need that extra push. I got you. You need a, you got a few areas that's still cloudy, I got you. Let me guide you. God told me what to tell you. Be great.